something a little different today. I've uh, sent an email um, from Ryan, who's uh, asked me. He says, uh, "Can I do one where the output is one times one, which equals one, and then one one times one one equals one two one, and one 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 times one 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 is one two three two one, and so on and so on and so on, um, and also, if possible, having it as the input where the number could be one to nine." So that's what I've done. Um, I'll go through the program and make sure it all works. So I've declared an integer for our input and I've declared a count because we're going to need a count, we're going to need a loop. Um, and then I'm inputting my value. Let's say we input one. Now this is where I have to do something a little bit odd. So I declare a string value and I store whatever I've got in X, I, uh, I store in Y, but a string version of it. Now we need to do that so we can add or concatenate as the term is the one to become one one and so on so I'm just doing it five times so you can see here I actually use an output where I actually convert the y the string back to an integer on the fly to do the calculation and then I can use the ampersand symbol to join to concatenate the two y's together um, and it will keep going round and round and round so if we look at the watch variable we'll get a better idea of what happens okay so we'll step through it so we're declaring x taking x in let's just erase that uh, so x was 1 okay. now as we step through we convert the x to a string so you can see the 1 appears now here but it's now a string and we're going to do the next step five times so we're going to output the letter, the, the value of y, which is the 1, times the value of y, which is 1, convert y to an integer and multiply it by itself. So if we step through, we get 1 times equals 1. Step through again. So you see the next step here, y is going to have y joined to it, concatenated, not added. I've used the ampersand symbol. So y now becomes 1, 1. Step through, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. Now, if we just run through it um, a second time, um, and this time let's say we do uh, 5, just to show that it is working for the values. Same process, converts it across, does the calculation, 5 times 5 is 25, 5, 5 times 5, 5, and so on. So that's I think what you were asking for, asking about. Um, the, the little bit of magic that you need to sort of work on is done in here. So it's where you where you convert the values to strings and um, so you can concatenate them and then converting them back to integers so you can do the calculations. In Python this is referred to as casting and being done on the fly um, you don't need to put it into a new variable you can just say you can just strut it or int it and it will work um, but obviously in flow rhythm you've got to be a bit more um, rigid in the way that you do it so there you go I hope that's helped